All right, what's up guys? Avo Sky here with more magic -y goodness. This time featuring a very famous deck archetype, the Birthing Pod deck. Uh, this is a red-green Birthing Pod deck, Jund or Naya, whichever you may have. I prefer Jund because it's eviler, but regardless. We have our Forest Mountains, our Expanses, our Refuse, just for a little bit of life gain. It does help from time to time. So do the crags, just in case, because I was very lucky to get one. Mm -hmm. And one of the prizes of my collection, a stomping ground given to me by a friend who doesn't play Magic anymore. So yeah, woo, stomping ground. This deck runs a play set of bolts and a little bit of mana ramp here. Uh, your extra uh, mana here with a little bit of trampling power here always helps. Devil's Play rounds out a little bit of direct damage in case you're in a tight spot. Bear Umbra works wonders with another card you'll see in the deck. I'll just put that aside. World at War, trust me, it saved my ass a few times. World at War is a very, very nice card in aggressive decks where you're going to be beating down a lot of opponents. Uh, this deck runs three copies of Birthing Pod because I couldn't get a fourth. I'm still working on that, and I will get a fourth eventually, but for now. Birthing Pod, Birthing Pod, Birthing Pod, boom. In Ascending Converted Mana Cost, we have our Llanowar Elf for mana and our Goblin Arsonist for damage. A little bit of help early in the game, never hurt anyone. Actually, it hurt a lot of people, but regardless... Uh, Rangers for when they enter, and an Emissary for when they leave. Elvis Visionary, a little card draw, never uh, hurts. Apocalypse Hydra, it's a late game blocker. I've never really had to attack with Apocalypse Hydra. That's the thing. It's a huge creature, it deals a little bit of damage, and it's more of a late game card. Apocalypse Hydra is horrible for mid-range, but in a deck like this, it can help build up a defense while you murder everything that stands in your way. Um, nom 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 uh, an, an extra little bit of mana and flying, which helps significantly, as well as hexproof. The original one, not with the ability, because I don't like that ability. Uh, just the wording, whatever. Bogart Ram King is... A very fun little boom shiggity. Yeah, I love the art. I love the card. It's very powerful and very effective. When I eventually build my red green uh, goblin deck, this is going to be one of the main cards that's going to help kill people. Uh, this is a beat up foil bloodbraid elf in addition to a regular one. I know it says when I cast it and that birthing pod won't trigger the cascade ability, but regardless, bloodbraid elf is an amazing card for red green mid range. Spellbreaker behemoth is also surprisingly up there because, oh, I don't know, it's a 4 cost for a 5 5. That destroys any blue. I don't know why more decks run. I don't know why more decks don't run copies of Spellbreaker Behemoth. It's just a simply very powerful card. Archwing Dragon as well is a little fast flyer pinger. It's not my favorite card, but it fills in its spot quite nicely, and it's four flying damage for four mana. So, frankly, I am not unhappy with it. I'm also not unhappy with this Huntmaster. <laughs> Funny story, one of my friends, she bought her first booster pack, Dark Ascension, pulled the Huntmaster. I was not very happy with her, but I built her a red-green deck in celebration regardless. We all know what this does. Don't tell me you don't know what this does, because I will slap you silly. See, city, 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 city. Um, <coughs> anyway, two Platellians fill out our why do you want to hate me so much category. Again, red, green, mid range. I don't know why John decks don't run a couple copy of copies of these. Plutellion is a very nice card, in addition to Aesthetic Slime. If they don't have any artifacts or enchantments for you to destroy, then you can at least get rid of some of their lands, and it's a bit of a moral, you know, oh no, my lands are gone. Nobody likes having their lands gone, and nobody likes Thrag Tusk, because Thrag Tusk is amazing. It is absolutely one of the best green mid-range cards on the market today, in standard today. And it just looks good as a card. It's a good beast-like creature. It's a, uh, it looks like Vigor's younger cousin, honestly. Although the comparison for card similarities really doesn't extend beyond that.
Actually, it's kind of got the little Nicole Bolas horns. Well, everything's gone evil now, so let's move on to Vorpeed. Vorpeed, best art, great card, very powerful, nobody likes it, because it's just that good. Morden Dragon is arguably one of the worst cards in the deck. I actually pulled this foil out of a booster pack, and I know it's a big dragon, it's powerful, yada yada yada, but in play, it really doesn't do that much help as far as I've seen. In World Wake, it might have been a bit powerful, drafts might have been very powerful, but right here, right now, I'd prefer things like Dragon Broodmother or this Hellkite Charger. Hellkite Charger, we all know what Dragon Broodmother does, that's what it does. Hellkite Charger <laughs> with our Bear Umbra equals a lot of big destruction, infinite attacks, a wonderful combo here. And then we'll ramp right up from that into a Borborygmus. Because, you know, why not? Borborygmus is just a fun card in the late game when you have enough creatures to inhabit the entire city of Ravnica and still have enough space left over for a little backpacking outing on the corner of town. And Protean Hulk also. Again, <laughs> it's one of those cards that goes in the deck because it's just that fun. When it dies, you get all these creatures. When you ramp into a Crater Hoof Behemoth, and Crater Hoof Behemoth combined with the things that Protean Hulk brings out. I mean, let's say we use Protean Hulk and we bring out, oh, I don't know. Let's bring out a Platelion. Well... That was a fun game for you. I think that my giant, giant trample creature enjoys that very much. But that is my red-green mid-range birthing pod. This video has gone long enough, and Borborygmus will rape you in your sleep.